Hello viewers, as I promised you last week, today we have a very beautiful guest and as for her name, your guess is as good as mine. So welcome the new African designer of the year, Ibi Batmus. Ibi, tell us, how does it feel to be a winner? Oh, well, it felt good, I must say. <laughs> I, I'm not uh, a modest person. I, it, it felt as if the, the years of hard work and um, I believe in myself came to, to, to be and uh, it also felt um, joyous because I was up against most of the respectable name in fashion industry in Africa so <laughs> it feels good. I also hear you have a very close relationship with your father. Oh yes I, I, I do basically for the simple reason that uh, my sister and I um, grew up just with him. He's the only family we've got. Yeah, we're very close. I also hear your, your, your mother is late. Yeah, she is. Ah. Well, it seems like your designs favor the Southern Africa. And I hear your mother is from that area. Well, it was safe for me to say um, she is your source of inspiration, maybe. Uh, not really. Well, not consciously, I, I must say, because uh, it's quite difficult to be inspired by someone you hardly know. My mom died a long time ago and I can hardly remember her, so I, I, I can't say she's my inspiration. I'm inspired by things around me. The way you look, the way I look, the way women look. You know, I, I like to make dresses to fit into that, to bring out what they need to bring out and hide what they need to hide. <laughs> wow. And there's some speculations, or should I say, I have heard that you do not really get along with your stepmother. How far true is that? <laughs> you hear a lot of things, I must say. I, uh, I, I rather not talk about my family on national TV. You come from a very famous and um, respectable family and I wonder how it felt. Viewers out there really need to know how it felt like to have a stepmother that's almost your age. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about my family on national TV, <laughs> if you don't mind. Well, um, I had an interview with Susan Barbmas the other time and I caught her saying, uh, please, do not put Susan Batmos to me, please. <laughs> Zip it. Well, viewers, you heard it from yourself, from I.B. Batmos. So stay right there and don't move. We're going to be right back. talking about me on national television again, I would like a heads up. Do you know how stupid she made this family look? <laughs> I mean, pardon me, but this is absolutely funny. I mean, for someone who spends her days speaking exclusively about this family without even being asked. <laughs> yeah. 
I really must have made us look stupid. Always the spoiled brat. Always the jobless society lady. Oh, I'm sorry, Susan. I hear they call that work these days. <laughs> you mean you call this little designer thing you have going on work? <laughs> My dear, I will only agree when you stop taking your father's money and make a living out of whatever it is that you think you make. In as much as I would love to stand here joblessly chat with you, but someone besides my father has to work in this house. Huh? That will be me. You know, I understand what you're going through. In fact, I sympathize. Because somehow, in that little head of yours, you're actually a member of this family. <laughs> but that's only in your head. And we both know how brainless and small that is. Childlessness. <laughs> oh my God, it's a disease. So tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you think. This. This is nice. <laughs> I was actually looking for something better than nice. What's wrong with nice? Everything. Ah, oh, I am going public with my design, so I kind of need something much more than nice. Like this is brilliant. It was just something better than nice. Come on, Ib. You've got talent and the head for business. Oh. You've got nothing to worry about. I seriously wish I had half your gifts. What gifts? Talent, drive and determination. These are gifts. Look at me. I don't even know what I want to do after school. Whether I want to work for dad or not. Growing up as a bitch. And you, you're always bathing me. I know. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm different. Maybe like mom, right? Oh, here we go again. I know we're agreeing with this. Your normal way of trying to find out things about mom without actually asking. I've told you, ask dad. I mean, I hardly remember things about her myself. Mm. But I do know you favor her in looks. You see, you can remember things when you want to. I don't remember anything about her at all. And I just remembered something else. I see your carefree attitude. That is not from her. Ah, oh, that sounds like <laughs> something that you think and not that you actually know. Where? Well, that's for me to know. And you don't. <laughs> I'm crying on the inside. Tonight, mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep and I'm going to dream about her. And then I'm going to wake up to edit all the lies that you've told me about mom. Oh, oh please do remember to tell mom what a handful you are these days. Why I'm still insane, I don't know. What? <laughs> <laughs> Take 
like it to keep this after the opening? Well, I'm still Please. thinking about it. Don't make me change my <laughs> mind. <laughs> Seriously, Easy. this is better than nice, isn't it? Well, it's okay. Then you're not keeping it. Okay, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> it's better. Okay, I'm thinking you're not keeping it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the yet. See the one? Always the journalist. Help for yourself. Snoop for news. Just back off. Hmm? Good boy. Back off. See, there's no story there. There's nothing there. Okay? Leave it alone. I mean it, Chico. For crying out loud, this is my family. Not okay, story. okay, okay, Brown. I heard you. Oh, fine. Um, look at this. My pen, my pad. Everything I'm asking is off the record. I am just concerned. Concerned about what? <sighs> President Obama is my brother. <laughs> now you're gonna make fun of this. Come of what? Look, Brown. I'm more serious now. Is this really Taro's child? Come on, you can give me that at least. <sighs> anyway, that's all I'm saying. That's all you're saying? And all I am going to say. Okay. Please. Off the record, off the record. Let's right. go ahead and have a drink. Joking. Come on, cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Morning, Daddy. Yes. Yes, Ivy. Now, what is this all about? I am very, very busy. Oh, oh sorry. I, I was just wondering. You're still traveling tomorrow, right? <sighs> if you will let me finish what I'm doing, then you will know. Okay. I, that is, I'm, I'm worried about Remy. She didn't come home again last night. You see, you are telling me this about your sister because... Now listen very carefully. Your sister is up again with her drama. But frankly, I don't want to talk about it right now. It, it is your wife that is running her mad, Daddy. You know me, and you know I usually... I rarely complain about, we, about we Susan, but this... Ivy. I don't want to talk about it until I'm back home. Do I make myself clear? Okay, Daddy, I will I'll let you go now. But I just wanted to ask a quick one, please. Um, Mom is really dead, right? Hello? I always ask to have the last laugh.
you have finally decided to grace this house with your presence after all. Things just keep getting better. Yeah, you know how it is. Been there, done that, worn the t-shirt, or should I add, my father's ring. Excuse me? What did you just say? You heard me. I've had enough of you. Really? I will not take this anymore. Not in my house. <laughs> what did you just say? Your house? Your house? <laughs> Let me refresh your memory, since you seem to be a little confused. This is my father's house. My house. I belong here. And you. You are my school mother, who I had the ill luck of inviting to my sister's birthday party. And you. You had the audacity to miraculously end up in my father's bed. You are not that good an actress. And by the way, what happened um, to my baby brother? Huh? Remember? The one you were carrying right before the wedding. Come on, talk to me. Hmm? You're both women. Huh? Got you, didn't I? Liar! <sighs> I don't understand these things. I don't. How my father, such an intelligent man, could fall for your amateur acting. It's beyond me. Just remember, my father is the only one in this house who can be deceived by you. But the question is, for how long? Interloper. <laughs> see, pot calling kettle black. <laughs> There's nothing I will not see in this world, though. <laughs> Stupid girl. Remy, look, I. You're home? Oh. Look, Remy, I don't have time for this, okay? I am on my way home. Don't even move a muscle. And you and I, we are going to talk. You're not listening to me, I'm not joking. I'm already on my way, okay? Thank God. I see you're still trying to be Remy's mother. And I love you too. Because I know when to keep my mouth shut. And you wonder why I love you so much? There's your answer. <laughs> Out to love you. See, oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. All right. Tell me, what is this all about? I just want to see my girls. Which girls are you talking about? I ask you, which girls are you talking about? I am their mother. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. You must be out of your mind. Because you have made your choice. And that is the truth. Look, okay? I you have made your choice. Look, I know I probably didn't make the right decision. Now hold it. Just hold it there. Which decision, which bad decision are you referring to? Which bad decision? Is it the one which you abandoned them, you chose your family, farmland over them? Or the one which you abandoned us and refused coming over to Nigeria with us? I want to know. In any case, whichever one it is, I want you to know that you are 10 years late. Because as we speak right now, 
my children are in England with my sister at school. And for your own information, my dear, you no longer exist. And that is the simple truth. You are dead to them. And that is the truth. Look, I know you're angry right now. Now, why wouldn't I be angry? I want to know. Why wouldn't I be angry that you didn't bother to look for them after 10 years? And because you, you were not there for them. Neither were you there for me. We have moved on with our lives. And that is the truth. In any case, I just want to let you know that um, <laughs> you made a mistake making this trip in the first place. Don't even bother to look for us any longer. Stay away from us. And stay away from Lagos. And stop moving around each time you come asking stupid questions about them. Because you have made your choice. So you live with it. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> stay away from me and the children. Anyway. I have to resolve this once and for all. about your mother for? Uh, that. It's nothing, Daddy. It's nothing. It's nothing? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I'll be right. Uh, Daddy, I... I think you should actually talk to Suzanne again. You know, just so that they don't kill each other in this house. Susan? Again? That's always. <sighs> That's okay, my dear. I I promise. Okay? Okay. That's alright. Thank you. Um, but thank you for your understanding. Certainly. Oh, do ask him to wait for me at the airport by six. Oh, come on. You know exactly what it is. It's all right. Yep. Bye. Till then. Honey, are you still leaving this morning? Yes, I've got to go. I've got to travel. You know, serious business. I'm even late by some couple of days. Susan. Yes, baby. I am worried. Worried? I will want you to make a conscious effort in getting along with the girls. I will be away for five days. I will appreciate it, Susan that you do not grant interviews on the pages of newspaper to talk about this family. Can you handle it? I hate it when you talk to me in that
that tone. Remy is getting out of hand. Her only reason for leaving is to insult me. While you stay back and pretend not to notice, yet you expect me to get along with her. I want you to look at me and tell me, did you ever have anything to do with that Upper City newspaper report about her? I can't believe that she would even ask me that. Remy goes off on getting drunk in every nightclub in Lagos. Her behavior is begging to be talked about, with or without my say-so. And as for Ibi, <laughs> your sweet daughter Ibi, she goes on national television to insult my marriage to you. For what? Because you're a father? Yet I um, must make an effort to get along with both like of them. You listen to me. All I am saying is for you to try. Try and do what? What should I try and do? It's okay. Ah. You've got to be. As a matter of fact. And I want you to remember, always, that you were once schoolmates. You've got to try. I don't want to have further arguments over this. Have I made myself clear? Yes, please. I've got to. Baby. Yes. Aren't you forgetting something? What? <laughs> Baby, how can you go without kissing your sweet wife? Aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? Hmm? You've got to promise me. Anything. And you must be tolerant. Is that clear? Okay, okay. I will. Okay, I will. <laughs> What's going on? That him? Yeah, sure. And I'm the Queen of England. What are you doing up this alley? You know? I'm starting to think that you might be having some internet romance, uh, like cheating on Ben with a stranger. It's good to know your vivid imagination is still intact. I'm still waiting for my answer, and you know I've got the whole day. <sighs> oh, I... Actually, someone has been sending me mails. Well, Mom. What about her? That she might still be alive. What? Really? Is the fourth one? Mom could be alive. You know what? I'm very hungry. Why don't you buy something to eat then? Hey, Tabo! Thank you. Welcome. That was a good presentation. Thank you. Hard work pays, guys. Is it? <laughs> so, Spiky Temu, am I still going to come for my lecture uh, statistics? Are you still going to? Are we on? Mm, let me see. That'll be in the evening, right? Yeah. Probably maybe after five. Mm, I got another study with Kuda, so I'm quite sure you can join us. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, you know that's what? cool then. You know okay. what? This is typical of Chenge. She always wants the statistics, sociology, she wants to be helped <laughs> every subject. You. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She okay. doesn't pay attention in class. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, okay. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi, baby. Hey. No, I'm done for the day. Baby, am I seeing you today? Only if you want to. What's that supposed to mean? Of course I want to see you. I miss you, baby. I miss you too. Okay, let's see each other in probably in about... two hours? Is that okay? Alright. <laughs> I love you.
baby sorry you don't have to explain yourself i heard you i mean you don't have to make an excuse to see your boyfriend i mean personally i think chico is a nice guy i mean he's every woman's dream the guy's irresistible charming he's too hot you know who would want to have chico hello <laughs> don't get me started on this on this intelligence class. you know what just stop it i know i'm lucky to have Mm -hmm. my China. But you know what? I just hope he doesn't change. Men sometimes change. Yeah, of course, maybe. But that is after the wedding, right? Uh, what wedding? Uh, uh, <laughs> are you not going to marry Chico? I will marry Chico. But you know what? For now, I'm not even concentrating about that. I'm concentrating about my schoolwork. If I finish my schooling, then probably I'll think about getting a job. After having a good job, then marriage will come. I'm serious. <laughs> but I love Chico. Of course I, I love him, and I want to know. <laughs> Yo, let's just forget about talking, talking about Chico. Let's talk about you. What is there to talk about me? You know, I don't feel comfortable if you start talking about my relationships. But you know, you it's know. not working out. Uh -huh. Because you don't want it to work. <laughs> but you know what? What? What's left got to do? <laughs> got to do that. Yeah. You're crazy, girl. <laughs> you mean the fuck called our fuck coming wedding a business merger? Can you believe the nerve? She actually said it was a big, a very good business transaction. As a matter of fact, I am looking for her right now. Since she was eloquently quoted saying that herself, I... I will have to call you back. You! Where did you get off talking about my forthcoming wedding to the press? How dare you? The same thing you were doing last week on TV, calling me a gold digger. <laughs> I called you a gold digger? Is it me being forgetful or is something wrong with your hearing? I can read between the lines. Susan, I know naturally you do enjoy this we get step mother thing you have going on with Remy <laughs> and I cannot begrudge you that but don't you think for one minute that you can turn on me because you will be way over your head I will appreciate it if you go with this advice as far as my wedding is concerned you're going to be dumb you don't know anything about it so stay away from it simple and why you at it Stay the hell away from my kid sister. And if I don't? Huh? What is it going to be, Miss Goody Two Shoes? Just listen to yourself talk. Stay away from my sister. Is she a child? How do you and your father expect her to grow up when you baby her so much? I don't get it. I mean, am I the only one in this family who sees how irresponsible and useless she's becoming just like your mother excuse you me oh you heard me right only an irresponsible woman will stay back allow her children to be taken away from her all because of money yet i'm the gold digger <laughs> shut your mouth you have no idea what you're talking about shut I know what I'm talking about. Susan, I know what you're trying to do. It's obvious to me because that is what you've been trying to do all this while since you walked your way into this family. You've done nothing but try to cheer us apart. But it's not going to work. You're not even fit to speak my mother's name. So whatever it is you think you know about her, keep it to yourself. I am not interested. <laughs> like you said, my dear, I am jobless. And you know what jobless people do besides lazing around? They listen, they talk, they snoop, and they hear things. My dear, ask your father for an early wedding gift of having it there, your mother, and see what else is there.
are you coming from? That is my question. What's up? I was about to dash off before I got this mail. What is it about? I'm really beginning to believe in the possibility of mom being alive. That's a joke, right? It was a joke? No? Mom? Alive? Oh God, let it be true. Do you know what this would mean? Oh, this stays between us. Okay, okay, okay. Understand. You, you understand we have to be sure this person is not lying. He probably could sense that we need to see her. Probably could be, you know, playing pranks. We have right. to be sure that this is true. So this stays between us. You can't tell anyone about this. Okay? Um, Mom alive. She could be alive, honestly. You can't tell anyone about that. Fine, fine. Good. I, I won't, okay. You can chop chop when I reply this out. Oh my. Can we see that? What are you doing? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I have to go as soon as I reply the mail, so. Look. Chop chop. Just leave me for a while, okay? I just want to reply this. No. And I'll go. Read it. Read it and then I'll do the reply. And don't move from that page. Thank you. Yes, I just got her mail. Yes. Yeah, she, she's coming. She didn't say they're coming together. Let's wait and see. Trust me on this. Okay. Just trust me. Have I failed you before? Trust me. We will come. Okay. Bye bye. Sure. Our 2010 World Cup update. As Africa awaits countries like Brazil, Sweden, Russia, and Croatia have confirmed that they are opening camps in Zimbabwe for the World Cup campaign. This statement confirms that Zimbabwe is as safe as any other African country. There are reports that several other countries are making similar arrangements for the soccer extravaganza to be held in South Africa. Places like the Victoria Falls, the resort town of Kariba, and the scenic town of Mutari in the Eastern Highlands are where some of these football nations will be camping to prepare for the highest prize in football history, the FIFA World Cup. This is Matuana Sasibanda reporting from Zim Independent. Since when? Do you watch the news? You know me, um, I like to know what's going on around me, in the world. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to find out if Zimbabwe is as bad as they say it is. You know that we have to go there, eventually. We do? Yes, we do. As soon as we hear from your contact. Why do you always put <laughs> words into my mouth? Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be fun. Promise. <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> you know, your father only mentioned about the joint venture after I told him that you were going to be my wife and not before. I know. And why are you still upset about what was written? I'm not upset about what was written. As a matter of fact, Ben. I'm not thinking about the price right now, or what I think they know about our relationship. That's not what is on my mind. What are you thinking about? Hmm? That I would like to travel to buy my wedding dress. Wedding dress? Where is this coming from? You have always said that you want to wear your own design on your wedding. Now, tell me, did Susan say something to you? <laughs> That's a laugh. I mean, she always says something. I 
as a matter of fact, she did. She said something that I am still trying to wrap my head around. But that's not the whole reason why I want to travel. It's only part of it. So, what is the whole reason? The other part? Baby, come take a holiday with me. Just before the wedding. Let's holiday together. Where have you ever had anything like that? Hmm? Besides, I'm still needed at the office. And in any case, look, we were still going on holiday after the wedding. Holiday? Did you just call our honeymoon holiday? I be. Don't you I be me? I mean, why did I think you were romantic? Ever? Why? I be. I seriously want you to be happy. But something tells me that the wedding is not the only thing that is on your mind. Am I right? Maybe. Now, tell me, is there anything that I can do to make it better? You already did. Thank you for always knowing the right thing to say. Not always. Ah! Don't ruin the moment, that's it. One word, alright? Not one word, alright? yesterday doing the same doing what swinging like a baby <laughs> so childish even for her maybe it's her way of saying i know i married an older man for his money but i'm still sexy and still got game <laughs> <laughs> what are you two talking about <laughs> like we're gonna talk to her <clears throat> what is going on <laughs> okay <laughs> I see what this is. This is gang up on not speaking to Susan Day. Oh, I'm bored. You know what? I know what you people are up to. And when I find out, your father's going to be the first to know. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm scared. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Daddy, I'm already in her room. Yeah, who's on me? Hold on. Daddy wants to speak to you to be sure your former school mother has not put you out of your misery. Daddy! Hi! Yeah, you heard your daughter. And I'm sure now you know that I'm not the only drama queen in this house. You better not be talking about me, Daddy! <laughs> Yeah, Daddy, we're okay. We're fine. No, everything's okay. Yeah, Daddy. And, uh, Daddy, when are you coming back? Yeah, no, we, we miss you. Yes, we miss you, but, uh, well, it's, it's just that I want to find out how long you still have so that I can, you can bring me something. Uh, I can't tell you right now because your jealous daughter is in the room and I don't want to die yet. Yes, yes. No, I'll listen, miss it to you. All right, Daddy. No, we're okay. We're all right. So we'll see you soon, eh? I love you. Bye. 
We have three days to go to Zimbabwe, find her and hear her story. Dad might have his reasons for having kept her away from us, but we just have to go and convince her to come back for your wedding and then wait for the fireworks that come with it. Ah, you're missing the point. This is not about my wedding. Hell no, it's not. This is about finding out the truth about what really happened. Aren't you? No, I am. Get some sleep, right? We have an early start tomorrow. And when I say get some sleep, I actually mean when you finish unpacking everything in this box. In no, this box. Ibi. Don't! I be me. I know where you're going. You just have two days in Zimbabwe and I will not wait for any extra luggage. Nine, nine. After you unpack. questions again. Just answer your name when you hear it. Sorry, madam. Where are the girls? This house is too silent. The girls? You really are stupid, right? Smart, my mother. I said, have you seen Ibikun and Remy this morning? Okay, now I understand it, madam. Uh, madam, it be like they travel, because they carry big, big bag across me this morning, madam. And it didn't occur to you to find out where they were off to. Madam, you know say for this house, nobody they tell me anything. So I demand my own business. Uh, but if anybody tell me anything, I'll take my two years listing, madam. What are you trying to say to me? Madam, I mean say if you won't tell me anything, I'll go take my two years, hear yeah, you, madam. My friend, will you get out of my sight before I do something to that stupid head of yours? Sorry, madam. Get out! It's sorry, yours! Sorry, sorry, sorry madam. Nonsense. Mrs. Badness, please, will you drop the axe, Ben? I asked you, where is Remy and Ivy? I'm sure that wherever they went, it is to get away from you and the bad publicity that is going on around. Ben, I asked you a very simple question. I said I would like to know where Ivy and Remy went. I'm surprised that you're asking me that, since it was you who put the idea in the first place. You know about their mother and that she's alive? You know what, I don't have time for this. Mrs. Barnes, I will advise that you stay out of the press. It is good for you, a woman of you, of high standing. Ben, stop wasting my time. I don't have time for this. Bad moves, bad As long as you understand that I was simply trying to help. I'm just concerned and it offends me when you say I was doing it just to get a story. I wouldn't do that. No, come on, we're friends, man. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you tomorrow. 
What was that all about? It's <sighs> just your man being nice as usual. Look, are you going to tell me or not? Baby, there's really nothing much to tell. Oh, nothing much to tell. That's all you can okay, say. Okay, okay. Um, Brown has some long lost family members that are visiting from Nigeria. So? Tariro's real children. Um, one of them happens to be the winner of Africa Design of the Year. They left south with their father so many years ago. There's too much history going on down there. I can feel something. But, long story. Long story indeed. Look, I'm not a fool. And I know there's something happening here. Look, you just can't be helping Brown and his family through this difficult time just for nothing. Tough. Look, I know you. You lie a lot, Chico. You talk too much. But you do. I'm a journalist. So? It's a joke. Gold McCall and the one in the cage. Um, we've had a, a lot of problems with we just for every day we sit out there and we eat his food inside. And they eat fruit and peanuts. Okay. That's basically oh, oh, nice, huh? Nice, very yeah. <laughs> I wish someone could do it again. Hello. Oh. Hey. Grace does. Hi. Does Gracie. Grace. Okay. Hi. You'll see her blushing. You see the red on her face uh -huh. and also her feet, the color. Somebody got in touch after the interview. And what interview? Chief. Chief. When Ivy won the Africa Designer of the Year competition, she had a television interview. And in the interview, she mentioned that her mother was late. And somebody got in touch and told her that her mother is alive. And Susan confirmed this. And you allowed her to go? I did no, not. No, 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 you wait a minute. You allowed her to go. Is it what you are telling me? That what? You know your own daughter, Chief. There's nothing I could tell her that would stop her from not going. And besides, you had told Susan, you had informed Susan of this. So it was also proper for you to inform her. I did not inform Susan anything. But by the way, let me ask you, your wedding is in three weeks. 
and you allow your wife to travel to Zimbabwe to look for a woman that she has never ever seen before? Is that what you are telling me? I ask again. Are you meaning to say that she's not dead? I am meaning to let you know that I am going to Zimbabwe to look for my girls. I understand. Precisely. Please, I... I will want you to be on the lookout for them. Oh, for sure. I'll be there in two days' time. You see, Okocha, I don't know how to appreciate you. I can't just appreciate you enough. Thank you very much. We'll let you know. Okay. Bye. Susan. Yes, baby. I understand you've been drawing the Badmoss family tree. By the way, where did you get the story you told Ivy? And how long have you been in this family that you already know things that I am not aware of? And when did I pay money for my kids that, that I don't know about? I want to know. Baby, I'm really sorry. Honestly, please forgive me. I know this time I, I went a little overboard. I'm really sorry for doing that. It's just that I'm tired of everyone thinking I can't use my brain. They were right. <laughs> they certainly were right. Because if you did use that brain of yours, if you did use that brain of yours, you will have known that there is a difference, a desert of difference between the past and present. Whether you do not know that what you have just done, you've only succeeded in making my past my present. I am really sorry, please. I'm so sorry. You are not. But I promise you, <laughs> very soon, very soon, you will be. What is that supposed to mean? Baby, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I didn't. Please, I'm so sorry, baby. Please forgive me. Excuse me. Where are you going? I'm in the living room. But we are talking. I said I'm sorry. Nice. I like it. It's a good supermarket, like I told you. You find everything that you need in here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we better. From there, everywhere. We will. You know? Be kinda nice. Kinda nice.
Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. fine. Can I please sit down? Oh, thank you. Uh, can I please have keys for 1209, please? Yeah. How was your journey? Oh, fine. It was fine. fine. And your name is? Okocha. Here are your keys. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's all right. Yeah, thank you. Unlucky, actually. I must confess. Um, you know how it is. Um, the lines are not actually going. But no problem. I, since I have you and I know that somebody uh, will be able to assist. Good evening, sir. Oh, good evening. How are you? I have brought you some drinks. Oh, thank you very much. Enjoy your drinks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, you see, the other time um, when my guys... Cheers. Cheers. I don't know how to thank you enough. And, um, Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. That's one of my boys. Oh, really? So, how did it go? Yes, sir. It seems the girls are still in this hotel. My boy is on the ground. I've tapped everywhere. They did not leave this hotel. You sure about that? Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll call you later. I think we are touching ground. Cheers. Cheers, my brother. Yes. <laughs> you know, I told you. Oh, well, thank you so much. And um, got to sign. I'm a guest here. No problem. Enjoy your drinks. Chief, I believe you. Uh, one more thing we have to do is to find out their room number. Very necessary. That's easy. I told you I could all my guys on it. We have to be careful because it's possible they're checking with different names. I've got that one covered. I've just used the front desk guy. So, <laughs> got it covered. So I put my balls on it, remember? Anyway, you are dead right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I think it's oh, Zimbabwe has changed. Oh. Things are changing. And things are working out, working out very well. And, um, uh, perchance again, I uh, I have to come in uh, and I will bring in some more business business people around. Uh, I'll tell you what, Chief. This is the right time to invest. You remember the project that you had last time? Mm -hmm. This is the right time to invest. Because opportunities have been opened up. The government has just opened opportunities and this is the right time. I must be frank with you. Um, despite all this um, Western media propaganda, what I see here is different. Zimbabwe is indeed a great country. And um, with all the tourist potentials and all the hard-working gentlemen, I think um, people need to have a change of heart and change of mind. You're right. Zimbabwe is a country that one can invest in. And by the way, I am your in-law, remember? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's getting pretty late. And that's exactly my point. What is wrong with our son? Why, Basta? This should be the fourth girl in his life, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but I've tried to speak to him. Do you know the last time I saw Chico? No. Three days ago. Girl, you're not serious, are you? I think it's really up to something. What could that be? But I'll soon find out. You are the right person to talk to me. But I'm 
didn't behave like this before I married you. You deceived me, that's why you married me. Now look how beautiful and young you look. That's <laughs> why you love me. Hello. Good day, my children. No, 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 stand up. Hello, hello, hello my daughters. How are you? Fine. Now this. You mean tell me Chico is not in the house? Yes, he's not here. We're actually waiting for him. What time do you expect him? Hi, ah, he said he was coming soon. Okay. You can sit. No, no. Oh, don't worry. Don't just worry. relax. This is also our house, you know. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Thanks. We'll just have a look at the garden instead. Okay. Give me that little thing. It's good for us. Okay. You say so? This is exactly more than what you know what it is. Son of Oh. Oh man. Ah. Hey, hey, look at the time. We have to go. No, you said we were going to ride one of these motorboat thingies. I know. Maybe we'll do it next time. Come on. Such a spoiled sport. You promised. If I'm such a spoiled sport, why are you dragging me all over town? Maybe it's because you're so annoying. And you, why do you come along? You could say no. Well, I can't. Can't what? I can't say no to you, no matter how much I'd want to. Really? Really. <laughs> and you, you're a lot of trouble. That, I've been told before. They didn't lie to you. <laughs> Hi, Chico. Hey. What's Ron. up? <clears throat> how are you? <clears throat> Good. What's going on? What's up? I'm okay. Where were you? I was there. Brown. Hi. Where are you? How are you doing? Hi. I'm good. How about your sister? Ah, uh, Ibi. Yeah. Ibi had to stay at the hotel. She's not feeling well. Okay. Yeah. When are we going to see mother? When is she going to come meet us? <sighs> Soon. Tomorrow or next. You know, she's trying to build up the courage to meet you people. Anyway, you're taking me to a club tomorrow. I want to check out the nightlife. Really? Mm -hmm. That would be cool. <laughs> Fine. Okay. <laughs> cool. We have to go now. It's getting late, guys. Right? Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you. From what I gather from the, political uh, the front desk guy, they are asking United about Lech Chivero, Shinoi Cavs, and, and what flies live for Victoria Falls, that is and Kariba, the of time. and so forth and so on. The African paradise. These are it tourist questions. Mm. Uh, uh, what wonders with English what they are up to? We take you through a journey. But what I do know is we have to check on them tomorrow. Our world, we might be able to check them at the lake tomorrow. Our wonderful people and culture, I'm our positive. rich history and heritage, our majestic mm, to Maybe we we'll try. Our great we'll zero. start with a try. There's jubilation our in the country as an all inclusive government has been formed by the three major parties with representation in the Zimbabwe parliament. What seems to make the occasion? All the more joyous for the people of Zimbabwe is the fact that the problems bedeviling the country politically have been solved by Zimbabweans talking to each other. This is Matuan Sibana reporting from Zim Independent Television. Stay tuned. Lies a world wonder whose gushing waters are simply 
Things are changing. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> Things have changed. The adrenaline oh, capital yes. of the world. <laughs> yes, the Victoria Falls. Okay. Can you please help me talk to my lecturer? Because I miss my quiz time. But tell me, why did you delay? I wasn't feeling well. You know, I had a tummy upset. By the time I woke up, I was feeling weak and I was sweating. I wasn't just feeling too good. It's okay. We'll see how it goes. Thanks. Hi. Hi. And where were you? I didn't know that you were waiting up for me, Mom. You didn't know what? Look, weren't you the one who told me to come here? Don't raise your voice at me. Oh, okay. What? what? Excuse me, Tati. I have to go. Um, we should get there. Okay, it's okay. Bye, Jane. Bye. So all you wanted was just to embarrass me in front of my friend, is it? I was out with a friend. I lost track of time. That's why I'm late. <sighs> and besides, I didn't know that anybody was waiting for me. Look here. Point number one. I am not anybody. I am your girl. And point number two. Is this got to do with Brown and his stay here? What are you talking about Brown? No, it's got nothing to do with that. What is wrong with you these days? What is wrong with you also? Look, look, we're not having this argument. Not, not today. No, not again. I'm tired. And I'm tired of waiting for you. I'm tired of everything that you're doing, Chico. Where I've been, I've been to Missouri. Shh, for shush it. Do you hear yourself? <coughs> Just like old times, I find myself sitting, praying. Please, God, don't let her be hurt. Please, God, don't let her be involved in any gang fight or shootout 
or anything that will hurt her. But that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was you, Kay. Obviously, you have just refused to grow up. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Always giving Susan something to talk about, something to 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 to, to use against us. What is wrong with you? I mean, in Lagos, I can take that. I mean, because somehow, even days, you find your way home. But this is not Lagos. This is Zimbabwe. Why the hell do you know? Shut him up! I will bloody your mouth. I will freaking shout if I want to. Because you need to get this into your skull. Where do you know that you run off to every night? Did we come to Zimbabwe to gallivant about? We came here for something. We're not even sure yet. We don't know. We've not seen what we we're looking for. What is wrong with you? I will not have this. Okay? This behavior is unacceptable. I will not have this. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. Do you see anyone stepping up for that role? Please tell me because I can't see. Do you see anyone begging to be your mother anywhere? Do you? Take that back. I will not freaking take anything back. Do you understand me? Because just like you rightly said, I am not your mother. I am your sister and I am tired. I'm tired of being your mother. Okay? Grow up. Freaking grow up. Next time, you have the need to gallivant all over Zimbabwe, a place you do not know. Please, give me notice so I don't sit here and wait for you to come in. Freaking let me know. Rubbish. <laughs> Thank you for making me feel comfortable. And um, the beautiful place I must say you, you have here. It's my pleasure. You're most welcome. And um, certainly, again, I must say that um, this is not the Zimbabwe that I know. <laughs> Things are changing. So why waste it here? You're right. I think let's grab a couple of beers and um, feel the environment. Come That's okay. Thank you. Yeah, let's go. Okay. And the other thing. Yes. Um, we need to be proud of Zimbabwe. So can we all say we are Zimbabwe on three, three, two, one, go! We are Zimbabwe. such a thing after all the lies you've told us about her. Huh? 
Uh, well, I I was protecting my my children. That it was stop being kids long time ago. I don't care. Whatever the story is between the two of you, I don't care. I am going to invite her for my wedding. Yes, I am going to look into her eyes. Invite her to my wedding, have her look back at me and say no. Only then will I begin to understand this thing that you think you're protecting us from. Now, wait a minute. Uh, seriously speaking, are you saying that you are inviting her to your wedding? This is not about my wedding, Daddy. This is about us. Aha! Our mother is alive. We don't know her. This is about all the lies you've told us about her. I am sure Remy will tell you the same thing. I am here. And I am not going anywhere till I've seen her. And maybe make sense out of this whole drama. Not before. You're about to tell us where you're coming from. Because I've been all over the place looking for you. So, Auntie Remy, where are you coming from? Actually, she was at the club with Chico when his girl walked in. What? Um, young man, who are you? I am brown, sir. You were at the club with Chico? I thought we had an agreement the other night. Brown, thank you for bringing her back. I am sure that was not easy. As you rightly have guessed, this is our dad. Good evening, sir. 
Nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, B. Tomorrow is off then. No, no, no. We're, we're still on course. So, baby, see you tomorrow. By the way, do not tell Chico about our plan, okay? Um, I'm no longer comfortable with his interests. Meaning that I'm not interesting enough? Shut your mouth! Um, young man, you may now leave us. Hmm? I will take it from there. Thank you, once again. that you're hell-bent and not growing up. Fine! As long as you keep me out of your melodrama, I don't have any problem no, with you. I didn't ask you to stay up and wait for me, hey? Why are you so uptight? What? I am uptight! Yes, you are. Right there for you! Uptight! Keep quiet, I say! Keep quiet, the both of you. What has come over you? Must discuss as a family. But first and foremost, Remy, who is that fella? That fella who just left here? Is it, is it white or brown? Brown. You call him? Daddy, his name is Brown. And who is he? It's our cousin. His father was Mont's brother. Fat is our contact. It's the reason why we're here. Mother's brother? And how is it possible? Because if I do remember, your mom had only one brother who died during the war, and so she was the only one left. Her excuse for, of course, choosing to fight her people over their family, the duty she chose over us. By the time she realized her, her mistake, I had moved on with my life. So, it had nothing to do with money, right? Not at all. And Susan doesn't know more than you do about her. But how, how can a mother do that, Daddy? Just. Be quiet all these years. How can she? That's a question she alone can answer. I remember that she once visited, and that was about the time you and Remy had come back to the UK, back to school, and whether she wanted back your lives for kids or... Just tell me, what is this all about? I just want to see my girls. Which girls are you talking about? I ask you, which girls are you talking about? I am their mother. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. You must be out of your mind. Because you have made your choice. And that is the truth. Look, okay? I... You have made your choice. Look. I know I probably didn't make the right decision. Now hold it. Just hold it there. Which decision, which bad decision are you referring to? Which bad decision? Is it the one which you abandoned them, you chose your family, farmland over them? Or the one which you abandoned us and refused coming over to Nigeria with us? I want to know. In any case, whichever one it is, I want you to know that you are 10 years late. Because as we speak right now, my children are in England with my sister at school. And for your own information, my dear, you no longer exist. And that is the simple truth. You are dead to them. And that is the truth. Look, I know you're angry right now. Now, why wouldn't I be angry? I want to know. Why wouldn't I be angry that you didn't bother to look for them after 10 years? And because you, 
You were not there for them. Neither were you there for me. We have moved on with our lives. And that is the truth. In any case, I just want to let you know that um, <laughs> you made a mistake making this trip in the first place. Don't even bother to look for us any longer. Stay away from us. And stay away from Lagos. And stop moving around each time you come asking stupid questions about them. Because you have made your choice. So you live with it. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> stay away from me and the children. When it took her time to show up again, I simply concluded. I simply concluded that something had happened to her. And of course, to two of you, she was already dead. Well, Daddy, we're all here now. What is it going to be? Well, don't say a word. Before you answer, I want you to know that I'm not going to leave Zimbabwe until I see her. And by her, I mean the woman who actually gave birth to me. So, having said that, what's the game plan? Talk about us. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't want to talk to you, okay? No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Don't, don't. What's there to talk about? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Mistake? I made a mistake going out with you, okay? No, 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 no baby. That can't be true. Listen, listen, listen. Please, please, please. Look, please. Don't you thought I wouldn't find out, is it? Shh. Sorry. Sorry. I made a mistake. Are you finished? Remove your hat. Look, is this the first girl that I've seen you with? Is this the second? We don't need to go is this the third girl that I've seen you with? Don't talk about that. Look, I'm no, done. No, no. I'm done with everything that you're doing to me, okay? I just can't take it. You heard me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I can explain everything. I can Look, explain. sorry. That's all you can say. Yeah, we can Look, up. all you want is just to get one big story, yet you don't even have a big story at all. Just, what did you most do? This is nothing to do with the story, baby. This is about us. Oh, okay. That's all you can say. It's over. If you want me to call security, continue like this. Huh? Do you want me to call security? Why are you going to talk about security? I'll do that. You know me. You look, know me. Come on, look. This is me. Chico, I please. Told come on, you. baby. Come on. Chico, don't touch me. Okay? Get out of here. I said get out. It's over. Tavi. Tavi. Tuffy, come on. coming from right tell me the truth are you sure this wedding is gonna be going on <laughs> come on man why do you ask well I'm guessing since your bride is not back in town maybe because I'm worried because the wedding is a couple of days there's no maybes man look this wedding is going on 
and you, my friend, are still stuck. <laughs> well, it's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah. Guess I'll be seeing you later in the evening. Yeah. All sure. right. I got yeah. a couple of friends coming in from the UK. Maybe we can have a couple of drinks later on. Yeah. Sure. All right, man. Yeah. Catch you up later. Yeah, man. All right. Hey, by the way. Maybe you should also be thinking about getting married, eh? <laughs> I'll be doing that as soon as you get me the right one. <laughs> All right, Ben? Yes, Ben. <laughs> ah, funny guy. some other place for this meeting. So we have a chance in town. Because that I like this place. It's peaceful. I might not like what I hear today, but at least I get to hear it in a place that I like. You're doing that thing I hate. What? Talking bullshit when you're scared. Remy, don't speak to your sister like that. She's your elder sister. OK? Tuffy, we're gonna be late for our lesson lecture, hey? Just go. <sighs> what do you mean, just go? Why are you looking so down? What's wrong with you? Please Me and you. Chico, we're done. <laughs> what? What do you mean, you and Chico, we're done? <sighs> Tuffy, you're not serious. Talk to him, you understand? Sit him down. I mean, he's your man. Fed up. <laughs> I'm fed up. There's nothing you can do about it. Taffy, sit and talk to Chico. You will understand Chico loves you and you know that. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> I guess you have to talk to him. Because he's right behind you. Hi. Hi, Chico. Excuse me, Taka. I'll see you later. What are you doing here? I told you. I don't want to see you, okay? I know. I just came to say I'm sorry again. Look, I told you stuff that I told you wanted to hear that time. And I made a mistake. You thought I wanted to be lied to? Doesn't every girl want that? See, you people, you, you just hear what you want to hear. And, and ignore what actually is. With all my heart. You lied to me. You lied to me a lot of times, okay? Come on, Tony, stop crying. <laughs> Look, I don't even know you. I don't even know the kind of person that you are, okay? <laughs> the times that you made me cry too much, but the times you made me happy, they just few. You know, I never want to make you cry. Chico, I loved you. I thought we were the same level. That's what I thought. But we were. We are we're not. But you know what? <laughs> Let me just tell you this. I'll find someone. I'll find someone who no, appreciates me. Say, someone who just... Who give me the respect that I need in my life. Look, I'm done. I'm done with everything. Look, I'm not done with you. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I can take it. You know what? Just stay away from me. I just don't want to see you, okay? I love you. I love you. Stay away from I'm me. I'm not done. Wait. I'm done. I'm done with everything about you. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. Don't do anything. Come on. Stop.
I can make this right. The more I waited, the more difficult it became. I tried to tell myself your father was the reason I stayed away. Because he couldn't forgive me and had moved on. But the truth is, I was afraid. I was afraid. I made a mistake when I didn't live with my family. And I made another one when I left after trying only twice to see my girls. I could have tried harder. But at some point, I didn't know where to start until Brown came with the news about your interview. I didn't know you girls thought I was dead. I know your father did what he thought best. I can't say sorry enough. I'm willing to abide with whatever decisions you girls make. I couldn't follow to Nigeria with what was happening. I had lost my brother. Our land was being taken away. My parents. Zimbabwe wasn't a safe place back then. If it was this new Zimbabwe, this Zimbabwe that I now know, I could never leave you girls. <laughs> we'll take it one day at a time. <laughs> my, my, my wedding is next week. Um, very much like for you to be there. Thank you. Thank Mom, you. you're heartless. You abandoned us. Left us. Remy, don't say it. Stop what? Oh, I'm out of here. Remy? You have to understand she's she's hurting. And I'm hurting too. But I know lots of things happened during war, you know, and I know that lots of things you're not saying, and we all need time, she needs time. Remy? Dad, I... For, for our sake, for, for my sake, I, I will... Love for her to, to be there at my wedding. Please, Dad, you can call it a wedding gift. I never thought this moment will ever come. But for the sake of my children, I forgive. Thank you so much. Yes, she can come for the wedding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Shine now, 